Okay, so Caitlin asks if I can explain the difference in, I guess, effectiveness of shielding with either fabric or paint. Um, so yeah, as in T98 shielding paint or Nova fabric. Welcome to the GeoVital Academy. I'm excited that you're here. Okay, here we are at the uh, building site here in Thailand. So we're gonna take some measurements. Hold on to the wire. <laughs> There's this concept of electronic pollution. I mean, we've been doing this for 35 years, but we're getting more and more involved in the um, shielding of entire homes. All right, so this is you know, our little demonstration room. We've got an opportunity to do a little bit of an interview with you, so people get to know you. Okay, great. Uh, thank you for, uh, for coming um, to EMF Q&A, where we uh, you know, give you an opportunity to sort of you know, connect with us and ask any, um, well, a lot of questions in relation to uh, existing homes. This is Patrick Vandenberg, your global radiation specialist. Um, yeah, th there's a the difference in performance. The paints will shield more because its particles are closer together. Uh, in shielding paint, there's, you can imagine the, there's like splinters of graphite and carbon. Uh, that makes that surface electrically conductive and that allows it to reflect radio frequency radiation. And then we absorb 15% in T98, which is quite a lot. Uh, the trick with making it very effective is to get these splinters to, to sort of, you know, let's say they go on a wall like this, but you want them to sort of dry up like that. Um, and so, yeah, that's been, you know, years and years of research and experimenting to try and get that to happen better. Um, and um, I think three, three, four years ago, we had an additive that we had to change and we made a big leap all of a sudden, unexpectedly, which was, which was great. Um, so anyway, so the particles are really, really close together. So in a shield, in a fabric, of course, you've got woven threads. So Nova is silver plated copper wire varnished to protect it against washing. Um, and then cocooned in either polyester or cotton. But inevitably, you're going to have um, uh, basically a, a grid of, of, uh, of wires, right? If I try and draw that, right? So you have this happening, you know, if you increase the look of the, of the fabric, like under a microscope or something, you would see this. You would have a grid, right? So you have a copper wire that's... Um, silver plated and then it's cocooned, um, sorry, varnished to protect it against washing, what bare metal fabrics do not do. And so their shielding disappears every time you wash it, right? And then it's cocooned in polyester or a, yeah, or a cotton. Polyester is whiter, doesn't crease as much. It's generally nicer looking. Uh, but cotton, you know, cotton is a more natural fabric. So some people gravitate towards that. So anyway, so in here, you've got, of course, holes. And so on account of that, the shielding will be less. Um, then as a, a third comparison, we have, for example, the GPA shielding mesh, that's fiberglass, which is normally used in reinforcement in, in when we're rendering walls. Um, there, the gaps are bigger still. And so depending on how big the gaps are, your shielding starts dropping. So, yeah, it's no surprise that you can achieve um, significantly more shielding with shielding paint um, than you can do with fabric. Uh, that, having said that, um, T98 is fantastic, but so is Nova for what it is. Um, so we still get enormous drops in radio frequency radiation uh, when using Nova, like in a canopy situation. Um, but if you were to use shielding paint in the same situation, your, your levels would have been better still. So where does it leave you? Well, basically, if you if you own your home or if you can make an arrangement with the landlords um, that you're okay to paint it or they might even fund it. Um, then, and, and, you know, if you were renting and you were happy to sort of enjoy the paint for what it is, you might be there for three, four, five 10 years, who knows, right? And then you move on and you leave it behind you. You've enjoyed it. You've, you've gained the benefits from it. Um, then great, use, use paint and then use the fabric for just the windows. Um, if that's not an option, well, then painting is not on the cards and you'll have to do with, uh, with the fabric. Um, and um, yeah, 
canopy is a canopy is a great alternative, and you may very well still achieve fantastic results with it.